Okay, so we will be talking tonight about courageous leadership. But bago pa tayo mag-umpisa, baba ko muna tong screen ko para at least makapag-engage po tayo. No? So here it is. Okay, at least uh, makakaharap mo ako. Let's take, let's take our discussion for tonight a, a little bit casual. No? Um, I really do prefer if you could really uh, interact with us tonight but uh, we will have a clearer understanding of what are the things that we are really going to do here. Now, if you have been attending, if I, of course, you, have, you really have attended our seminar, our business seminar, uh, in the business model we have, no? nakita nyo naman yung business model natin, we start as a property liaison specialist, there is a supervisor, manager, and all the way to consultant level, all the way to consultant level. Now, in order for, for you to climb from one ladder to the next, from being a property liaison specialist to becoming a supervisor all the way of becoming a consultant, there is one important ingredient that you really need to have at yan po ang leadership. As much as discipline is important, leadership is an equally important uh, trait na dapat to ikaw at ako ay maidevelop natin. Because ang tao pong maidevelop yung leadership capacity niya, leadership ability niya, is a person actually who's most likely, kung titingnan natin, is a disciplined person. A lot of people that are really skillful no, marami po. Marami pong tao na skillful. Marami din pong tao na, should I say, brilliant and intelligent. But when it comes to leading, bagsak sila doon. When it comes to discipline, bagsak din sila doon. Now, we're doing a series on the topic on discipline. In fact, that is every Monday. Our, our program there, actually, pinamagatan natin na uh, Disciplinado ako, aasenso ako. It's a very meaty program or segment or talk or seminar. It's a very meaty series that would allow you to really picture out that the one basic ingredient for a person to move from, from one level to the next is when he is able to develop the so-called discipline. At doon po natin nakikita na ang mga tao na disciplinado ay tao na na-develop din ang leadership, ability, and capability. So you cannot actually segregate, you cannot be a leader without being responsible or disciplined. At hindi ka rin pwedeng magiging disiplinado na hindi ka rin nagli-lead. So dapat nandun yan. Dapat nandun yung dalawa na yan. In the business we are in, we're in, we are in the business of leverage. It is important that our leadership is greatly shown. Nakikita ho. If there's one important message about leadership that I would like to always stress, leadership is all about influence. And if you are able to influence a certain level or a certain circle of people, then on that group of people na meron kang influence, I should say that you are in the leadership role sa mga tao na yan. Now ngayon, leadership is best displayed when you are doing it. Sabi ni John Maxwell, much is caught than being taught. I can tell you all the things you need about leadership and if you don't see me leading you way, leading the way surely wala po tayong patutunguhan I may be telling you no I may be telling you these are the things that you need to do do this and do that but if I will not be able to cast a direction for you and that you see it in me that I am going into that level then definitely it would be totally impossible for you to follow the leadership role dyan sa magiging upline mo. 
At ito po yung gusto kong maintindihan natin. Bawat isa sa atin ay apply. It doesn't matter how big and how small is your organization as long as you already have one person down the line you are now in the leadership position you are now leading an organization it doesn't matter kung isa lang yan or dalawa lang yan for the mere fact na ikaw ay nasa position na yan then you are already elevated to the leadership position marami pong mga tao na nagsasabi na ay ikaw lang diyan ay hindi hindi para sa akin lang kasi hindi naman ako leader eh pero hindi natin namalaya na bawat isa sa atin ay meron na pong leadership role bawat isa actually to be honest in all of you the day na tayo po ay na elevate into the lead into into becoming a parent nung naging parent po tayo naging nanay or tatay we are already elevated to the leadership role in short it's no longer a question kung ikaw ba ay nagiging leader automatiko nagiging leader ka the time na na elevate ka to the leadership role to the to the leader uh, to the to the parenthood position so ibig sabihin every one of us meron talagang leadership influence no hindi na po yan question meron talagang leadership influence bawat isa sa atin So ngayon, going back to the business. If you are not going to take the leadership role, you will never be able to tell your downline that we will go there. So you need to be before you become. You need to think like a leader, you need to talk like a leader, and you need to act like a leader before you are going to officially become one. It will always begins in here, and then followed by your execution on a day-to-day -day basis. Leadership is not inborn. Leadership is an acquired skill. So, ibig sabihin po hindi nating aralin to. That is the reason why dito sa DPPI we're spending a series, spending a time, in order for us to really be to be able to talk about leadership and management. Magkaiba po ang dalawa na yan. But we need both. We need both in order for us to make our business grow. Hindi po siya pwedeng kalat lang po tayo. Hindi po. Kailangan, organisado din po tayo. Bilang isang leader, kailangan din po organisado tayo. So, in the past few lessons we have, medyo marami na rin sessions tayo. Can you imagine we started way back September 2020 pa and we're now actually here January. So, marami-raming session na rin ang nagawa po natin. And I'm sure ang iba sa inyo ay siguro nakalimutan na but all of those messages actually ay nakastore po yon sa YouTube channel natin. So, pwede nyo pong balikan at pakinggan nyo po ulit para ma-refresh po kayo doon sa mga topics na meron po tayo. Okay? So, greetings po sa inyo dyan na nasa Facebook Live. Uh, sina Carms Bilamin, sina Noel Perez, sina Gretchel Perez, sina Vicky Padilla, sina Mel Berdan, sina sino pa ba dito? Uh, sina Jimbo, sina Susan Tapia, Philrick, sina Arfi, sina Wilma Inasi, and si Mikasha, sina Teacher Ofel mura sa Bulacan, sina Cecil Dimapi from nanjan lang sa Mandawe, sina Pacholo Logapatan. Sina, sino pa ba? Sina Richel Antillas, Richard Lopez, Richard Gobbs, sina Lloyd uh, Pueblas, um, sino pa? Sina Leovoy, sina Sheila Iskasinas, so sina Kapitan Arnolfo mula, mula Batulete, at uh, ako, marami pa pong iba. No? So guys, uh, if you ever you have something uh, you wanted to engage with us in a communication, type nyo lang po dyan sa comment section sa baba. At that goes the same here with uh, with a few of us here that are actually tuning in on the on Facebook Live, no? So let me up my screen. Okay. So here. So 
may random lang ako kasi ito ay isang offshoot lang dun sa former na discussion natin. This is actually where we have left off over the past few uh, discussions. Uh, Ra-random ko lang. Number one, part of... <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> part of leading is learning to praise uh, and do honest appreciation with our with our organization each and every one in our organization are people they are they are governed by emotions they are governed by their intellect they have mind body soul and spirit therefore as a human being each and every leader is required now this is required of you to do a praise and honest appreciation of your people if they have done something good well congratulate them give them a pat on the back if sila naman ay was able to accomplish a certain milestone sa, sa negosyo nila, sa ginawa nila, then make, a, 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 then make an appreciation. Every single praises and appreciation that you had made in every single achievement and accomplishment dun sa tao, wala po yung kapalit na pera. Ang value po na naibigay natin sa tao dyan ay moral you have increased the dose of his morale. Ibig sabihin, he is already motivated, but because of the appreciation and your appreciation, um, you are able to boost his morale. So in short, mas lalo po siyang gaganahan. Then we have talked about uh, calling the attention to people when they make mistakes. No? Now, Ang tawag ko po dito, if you have remembered in my previous discussion, ang tawag ko po na dito ay rebuke in love. No? Kinorek mo kasi mahal mo. Gaya ng parents. Ang parents, so, masakit man sa kalooban niya na, na i-correct yung anak niya, disiplinahin niya, or paluin niya. But the point that he does that, it's because he loves his children. At ganun din po tayo. In the people in our organization, we love each and every one of them. We wanted what is best and good for them. And if they do make some mistakes along the way, then we as a leader should rebuke them in love. Dapat ho, hindi po, hindi po offensive on the character of the person, but pinpoint kung ano po yung nagiging mali. Objective. No? Dapat objective. Hindi po kasi na magiging attack siya on the person. Dapat kasi, it will point kung ano yung mali para makapagbigay po tayo ng tinatawag natin na corrective measures. No? Corrective measures. You have called the attention, therefore, meron kang isasuggest kung paano to i-correct. Hindi pwede, ha? ito ha, hindi pwedeng nag-correct ka lang pero wala kang binigay Kung ano ang dapat gawin. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense if you just put in the correction and if you don't give what is the right action supposedly or ano ba ang dapat talagang gawin. Okay? Next is we talk about our own mistakes no? before criticizing others. As a leader, always remember we are not also exempted in making mistakes. Now, it is important that the leader maintains the humbleness to accept that there are times that he really made mistakes. Sometimes, we get corrected as well. Minsan, being a leader, medyo masakit pag tayo po ay nakureher. But it takes a humbleness of heart na i-accept yung correction the time that we are really able to make some mistakes. Hindi kasi yung Hindi kasi komo na nandyan ka sa leadership role na yan na ikaw ay isang banal na na hindi ka pwedeng magkakamali. Magkakamali at magkakamali ka talaga. In which we just have to be open if there are corrections that will be made. It doesn't matter kung ang correction ay nanggagaling sa mga tao na below sa atin or above sa atin. It doesn't matter. Because in in organization, and when you lead an organization, you don't just lead people because you are above them, 
but you lead people because you have a battle cry na binato mo sa kanila at ito ay nakikiisa sila sa battle cry mo. Naalala mo si Andres Bonifacio? Lahat naman siguro tayo kilala si Andres Bonifacio. Nung inilunsad ni Andres Bonifacio ang Himagsikan, no, KKK, nung inilunsad niya po yan, maliwanag ang cause. At yung cause na yon, ang rason na naglunsad si Bonifacio ng Himagsikan, maliwanag sa mga taong sumunod sa kanya. Kaya nga ay nag sila behind Andres Bonifacio. Kaya nga tinagurian si Andres Bonifacio ang supremo. No? Kasi he was able to launch that revolt and he was able to cast the vision dun sa mga tao. At ito ay nasalo nila kaya sumusunod sila dun kay Andres Bonifacio. Now, in our life, we do make some mistakes. It is important that being a leader, our transparency is exercised in all angles. No, hindi naman na ano na butut balat na na halos nakikita na yung kaluluwa mo. But when I say transparency, the majority of that execution is actually is integrity. Nakikita at nakikita ng tao ang integridad ng bawat gilos, bawat galaw, at bawat intensyon na ginagawa mo. Because if you have other agendas, people around you can feel that. People around you will be able to notice that if you have another agenda. Search your heart whatever agendas you have. Would your agenda be just to extort people? Or your agenda be is to help people raise to a certain level of success. Make clear of your agenda and work on that agenda. Okay. Number four, you ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Okay. Now, the reason why I suggest that you need to ask questions is because as a leader, yes, that is true that we need to be decisive in our actions. But we need to be solicitive. You know, we need to solicit also with regards to to other people's opinion. Baka may nakikita sila na hindi mo nakikita. Importante yun eh. If you're going to come up some decisions, you've got to see the bigger picture, and you've got to see how other people see it. Because possibly, iba ang the way mo siya nakikita sa kaysa nakikita nila. This afternoon, I went to Edge Mall and we had our admin staff meeting. And in order for us to be able to improve all other services we have, especially in the areas of releasing commissions and all others, I, we've got to see other perspective. Previously, we have in place some systems But I need to know if the system is still working, especially na dumaan na po sa pandemic. Tapos, of course, wala na kasi si Karen, si Van na ang nandun. I need to know if what works for Karen may no longer work for Van. Kasi may iba eh. Dati, ang trabaho na ginagawa ngayon lahat ay ginagawa ni Karen lahat. Isa lang siya eh. Pero ngayon, Iba na po yung ballgame. Meron na si Van, nandyan si LV, nandyan si Erlin, tatlo na po sila. So in short, I need to check whether the program or the procedure na ginawa dati will still be working today and be able to make some adjustments as the organization continue to grow. Kasi we cannot just do things the way we want to do in the past hoping na ito rin is effective pa rin hanggang ngayon. So, kailangan magkaroon talaga ng evaluation. The only way for me to know and be able to come up with a new process is for me to hear from each one of them. How is it? Ano ba to? Ano ba yung nangyari? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung mga, mga nakikita mo dyan? Ano ba yung concern? Ano ba yun? Because in collectively getting all of those uh, 
ideas, views, and opinions, I will be able to come up, oh, sige, ito yung gagawin natin. Ito, yung, ito na yung magiging procedure natin. Ito na yung magiging steps natin. Because there are changing times. no? Every now and then, we have some changes. And we've got to adapt to the growing changes. No? So, just like also each and every one of you, iba ho ang ginawa natin nung wala pa po si COVID. Iba yung pamamaraan na ginawa natin at ngayon ay nag-iba naman nung nas, na, na, nasa COVID situation na tayo. What works before may no longer work today. What is what is working today, maybe two, three years from now, may no longer be applicable. So we've got to be sensitive and the only way for you to know, you've got to ask. Now you've just got to ask. Ask each and every one down the line. Okay? Number five. Now, let the other person save face. Uh, ibig sabihin nito, huwag mo pong ipahiya yung isang tao. Okay. Now, iba-ibang tao, iba-ibang kakayahan, at iba-iba po rin yung mga strength and weaknesses nila. Hindi komo ang itong isa ay mabilis at magaling sa mga bagay-bagay na ginawa niya na comparatively ang itong isa ay hindi. Siguro, Mabilis lang siyang natuto at ang ito namang isa ay hindi naman ibig sabihin na hindi siya matututo pero ito lang talaga yung speed niya. Now there is there is no uh, there is a standard but there is a different level of approaches that we are going to put in our trainings. We cannot assume. No? You cannot assume that people will really know everything especially in the in the industry where we're in. Hindi ho hindi po siya ganun kadali na matutunan mo lahat. So save the face of your of your downline. Huwag mo siyang ipahiya. Bagkos, ito ay i-encourage mo. I-motivate mo. Give, them, give him the assurance that one day, he will learn. Because the moment he understands that, and the moment he sees that, well, definitely, he's going to be comforted with the fact na hindi lang pala ako pala ang nagkakamali. At hindi rin lang pala ako ang medyo mahina-hina. Balang araw, matutunan ko rin yan. Okay? So that's what's, what matters the most. Okay? Number six, praise the slightest improvement and be lavish with praise. Alam mo guys, kahit gaano po kaliit ang mga naabot ng mga downlines natin, that is worth praising. Ulitin ko ha? kahit gaano man kaliit na accomplishment na nagawa ng mga downline po natin, that is worth praising. Wag mong, wag mong, wag kang maging, ano, wag kang maging pihikan sa praises. Be lavish with praise. Na yan yung sabi dyan, no? be lavish with praise. Libre naman yan eh. No? Hindi mo naman binabayaran yung mga praises. So give it lavishly, no? But be honest then, ha? be truthful din naman dun sa mga praises mo. Kasi mahahalata din yan if you're bluffing, okay? <coughs> For example, may isa kang bagong downline, hindi pa marunong mag-post sa Facebook. Tinuruan mo, paano mag-post? Ngayon, Natuto, tapos nakapag-post. I-praise mo, i-acknowledge mo, i-appreciate mo. Alam mo bakit? Because it may be easy for you to post, but imagine how difficult it was sa kanya. Knowing na yun ang first time na ginawa niya ang pag-post. So, be appreciative. No, appreciative. Minsan kasi, we're too impatient with that. <coughs> Sorry, ah. <coughs> so, be appreciative. Naalala ko, at the onset of shifting from the offline to the online, yung lahat ng mga forms natin ay kinonvert natin to online. Registration online, submission of Um, uh, ano to, submission of uh, re reservation agreement online. Everything actually was translated to online. 
The first time na nag-online registration tayo, nahihirapan ang mga tao paano ba ito gawin itong uh, online registrations. Um, nagkakaroon ng adjustments. Okay? So, there were people na sa, sasabihin sa apply nila na hindi sila maka, makalag-in, hindi sila makapasok, hindi sila makapag-send. Only to find out na kulang lang pala ng mga steps na inaccomplish. So in short, we've learned it one step at a time. Those small baby steps na na-accomplish just for sending an RA, kung ikaw ang upline, give them a pat on the back. Alam mo bakit? Because natututo siya. Dahil natututo siya, ibig sabihin one day, kaya na rin niyang gawin ang ginawa mo na turuan ang downline niya na matuto ng mga natuto niya. If mahal mo ang downline mo, turuan mo. Kung gusto mo silang umasenso, turuan mo. At be patient with that, it's because being a teacher, it doesn't mean that lahat ng estudyante mo ay first owner lahat. Okay? So be patient. You will see their improvement one step at a time. So passing on. So ang, at, ang objective po natin ay ipapass on natin all of the learnings na meron tayo. Okay? And be patient with it. Okay? Yun lang po yung gusto kong ipaabot sa mga leaders natin. No, everyone is a leader. Be patient with your downline when they are ask when they when you are asked them when you are asked with questions. Remember, hindi po lahat ng estudyante natin ay first owner. Oh, 'Di ba? Kaya nga may owner role eh, kaya nga may may ranking sa uh, owner role eh. It's because hindi lahat ay you know, kasing galing ng bawat isa sa atin. Minsan ako nakikita ko po to sa mga mga ano ba mga group chats na minsan ako naiintindihan ko yan na minsan naiirita na 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 magbigay ng opinion or idea siguro dahil pa ulit-ulit na rin. But I want you to know again, iulitin ko to, hindi po lahat ng estudyante natin ay first owner. 'Di ba? Meron si can owner, meron third owner, meron nga hindi nakapasok sa top 10 eh. So be patient. No, be patient guys, no. Um, and also, ganito yan ha. When you teach something and we are when you're going to pass on information, make it clear to them. No, make it as if you are talking to a kindergarten student. Dapat ganun po ang magiging instructions natin. Kasi again, hindi po lahat ng estudyante natin ay first honor. Okay? Next. Number seven, give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. Uh, yan. Build up mo siya. Uh, ito, yung, ito, yung, ito yung point na i-build up. Sa network marketing business, also, also itong tinagurian nilang build up na kadalasan na pag mayroong downline at magpapatulong kay upline, upline, tulungan mo ako mag-present nito. Ang, ang sasabihin ni upline, o sige, build up mo ako doon sa, sa, sa prospect mo. Ha? Ang tawag po doon is build up. Now, it's not just you being an upline that will always be build up. You build up your downline. When you build up your downline, you are making him, you are magnifying him. No? You are magnifying him. And every time you magnify a person, no? always remember this, when when and every time you magnify a person remember this the morale of that person goes up when the morale of that person goes up people with high morale accomplish the impossibilities the reason why natatakot ma reject kasi mababa ang morale the reason why natatakot na na baka hindi bumili, ma-reject, hindi, bumen, hindi makabenta because mababa ang moral. But imagine those people na medyo high ang moral. Lahat po, lahat ng negatibo kayang harapin, lahat ng rejection ay kayang harapin. Bakit? Mataas ang moral. So you build up your downline. Kadalasan naririnig natin si upline ang binibuild up. Ngayon po, gusto kong baliktarin po yan. You build up your 
down line. Give them the dose that he needs in order for him or her to be recharged every now and then. Kailangan ma-recharge eh. Hindi siya pwedeng hindi ma-recharge. Okay. Number eight. Use encouragement and make the fault seem easy to correct. Ayan. Alam mo guys, may mga pagkakataon talaga that we are asked to correct, to make some correction. But don't be blatant about it with regards to correction. Ay, sayup na. Can you just imagine if you are if you are taught that way? Ay, mali yan. Sayup na. Ano, ano, ano yung mali? Now, I want you to begin with an encouragement statement. And how are you going to 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 start that? Okay. Let's say for example, you have you have given something a task na ito yung gagawin. Na no nakita mo yung task ay hindi siya nagawa ng maayos. Sometimes the initial temptation na meron tayo ng mga leader ay ay mali yan, ay sayop na. Yan ang initial na ano na responses natin as a leader. My suggestion is this. Control a bit of your temper. Control a bit of your temper and do this one. Instead, ang gagawin mo, for example, ah, Ems, tuluan tikaw ang saon paghimo ana niya na mas better. Kaya sample, ah, may pinagawa ka, oh, sa Bisaya pa, na kay gipahimo, niya sa tanaw ni mo sa iyang gihimo, meron medyo dili maayo. So karon instead na imong ingno na dili man na mao oh, sayop man na instead ingno ni mo ana imong ingno na ems ali ems tudlo antika on saon na siya na mahimo pa siyang nindot niya mahimo siyang sayon there is a correction but the way it was delivered is positive meaning this one that i am doing is not it's not totally wrong but there is a better way of doing it No? Why are you going to do that? Because in the process of teaching him the better way, he will be able to identify na medyo kulang tong sa kanya. Kasi may emphasize mo yan eh, along the time na you are teaching him the right way. Okay? So, learning so far ba? Ganun ba tayo? Ganun ba tayo pag may mga corrections that attack agad derecho? No? So ngayon po, medyo lagyan po natin ng encouragement. Okay? Nine, make others happy about doing the things you suggest. Uh, make others happy. Create an environment wherein suggestions flow, suggestions come and go, suggestions are welcome and absorbed, but make sure lahat ay happy. Make sure lahat ay happy. You know what? I don't want to work in an environment that is not happy. Can you imagine if you are in a group of people that is always frowning, nakasimangot? Would you like to be in a group like that? Or would you like to be in an environment that nobody laughs, nobody smiles, lahat ho malungkot? Would you like to have a group like that? I don't think so. No? In short, what is important is that the atmosphere wherein everyone is learning should be a happy state. No, ang atmosphere importante po yun. Marami po sa atin, no, marami po sa atin ay para bang mabigat ang kaluuban, no? I know and understand that leading is not an easy task. Hindi po siya mabili, hindi po siya madali. I know that the responsibility are absorbed by the leaders. But what would you get if you explode? What would you get if you get angry? What would you get through the years? Ito po yun ah. Slowly I have learned to improve my temper. For those people that have been with me for the longest time, clearly and upfront, they can always say that in me that I am very uh, hot-tempered, ill-tempered. Madali akong magalit, 
madali akong, basta, madali akong mag-explode. And through the years, I am intentional about it in those things because alam ko, hindi siya maganda. Alam ko, I am more, I am, I am becoming more hurtful to other people than being helpful. Okay? So nakikita ko yun, na I am, I, am beca- I am starting to hurt people rather than comforting them or rather than being of help to them. So when you and I identify our deficiency, no? kung bawat isa sa atin ay identify natin yung deficiency natin, I want you to know that it is actually you that is the one that will still going to correct it. There are no other person that will do that for you except you. Okay? Now, wrap up muna natin before tayo back, pupunta sa next nga, nga topic. Those things, ay napag-usapan na po natin yan eh, previously. Those things are meant to be executed intentionally. Dapat intentional. Ang leadership role po ay corrective in nature. Corrective in nature talaga yan. Because ikaw yung nakakita sa buong bigger picture. Ikaw yung nakakakita eh. Now, as a leader, you've got to set the parameters. You've got to set the tone. As I always said, if you wanted your organization na bumenta, you've got to model it yourself. Lahat ng pinag-usapan natin today ay kailangan i-model mo. Hindi po yan mangyayari kung ikaw mismo ay hindi mo siya i-model. Kung gusto mo ang mga downline mo na makabenta, dapat ipakita mo na ikaw mismo ay doing the process of selling. Dapat nag-post ka, dapat nag-site tour ka, dapat umaten ka ng PKS, dapat umaten ka ng mga mga seminars. In fact, kaninang umaga, we were talking about that because those are basic ingredients. The problem, this is the problem. The moment one after the other man na ma-promote na sila, supervisor, manager, consultant, always na iniisip na hindi na nila kailangan ng training kasi promoted na sila. Hindi ho. I want you to know the more you need the training. Pag ikaw ay na-promote, the more you need training kasi kailangan mo ng information na maipasa mo sa mga downline mo. At yung mga pinasa mo ay kailangan mong ipakita sa kanila na ito yung ginagawa mo. In short, this is all about modeling. Leadership is all about modeling. So in short, kung ikaw mismo nakikita ng mga downline mo na ay ito si upline na Merian, si upline Merian hindi naman nag-aattend ng seminar yan. Parati naman absent sa Zoom yan. Si Mary, si upline Merian hindi naman nag-aattend ng ng site tour yan. Si upline si upline Merian hindi ko nga nakikita nagpo-post yan. Eh, di rin ako magpo-post. Di rin ako mag-attend ng seminar. Di rin ako mag-attend ng training. So, what happened? Down the line, eh, walang, walang nag-attend. Down the line, walang nagpo-post. Down the line, walang nagsasaitor. Alam mo bakit? Kasi si leader ang unang hindi nag-attend. Si leader ang unang hindi gumagawa. So, in short, in order for your, if you're, in order for your downline to follow, it has to begin with you. So, guys, in fact, ito nga, oh. ang schedule po natin, nakaplat na po yan isang linggo. Nakaplat, may oras, may schedule. As a leader, hindi na po kailangan i-remind yan. Alam mo bakit? Kasi nakaschedule yan. Alam na natin anong mangyay. Bukas, oh, for example. Bukas, uh, ito yung situation. Ha? Bukas, ang buong isla ng Lapu-Lapu at Cordova run out. Pero bukas, may schedule din tayo na recruitment seminar. Hindi nyo ba alam, mula kaninang umaga hanggang ngayon, nag-iisip ako kung saan ako pupunta na magkakaroon ako ng kuryente at magkakaroon ako ng wifi para makapag-zoom ako sa seminar bukas. Alam mo bakit? Kasi leader ako. Hindi ako pwedeng o hindi ako pwedeng magbigay ng excuses dahil lang sa brand out. Ang leader ho ay maghahanap at maghahanap ng paraan yan kasi alam niya na disiplinado siya sa mga responsibilidad niya. Responsibilidad ko yun. 
at pangangatawanan ko yung responsibilidad na yan, no matter what, hanggang ma ko ang lahat ng mga possibilities. So in short, ito lang po yung gusto kong uh, ma, ma, mapaabot. In all aspect of leadership, it always begins with modeling. Pag hindi po kayo nakikita ng mga downline mo, maniwala kayo o sa hindi, ang magiging downline nyo po ay inactive pa yan sa lahat ng inactive. So if, if you wanted your downlines to be active, it will begin with you. Be active. Kailangan ho siyang mag-umpisa sa iyo. Or else, wala. Hindi po siya. Hindi po siya magpro-progress. DPPI, I want to be branded as, kanina sinabi ko eh, I want to be branded as a realty firm na magaling magservisyo. I wanted to be branded na pag DPPI agent ka, disiplinado ka. I wanted to be branded na pag DPPI agent ka, responsable ka. But above all the rest, I wanted to be branded that when you go and when they are here with DPPI, then they themselves will be called as a leader. Nasasabihin ng mga tao, yan, grabe dyan sa DPPI. Magaling, magaling, ang, magaling ang leadership dyan. Yun ang gusto nating makita. Yun ang gusto nating mangyari. Leaders are part of the solution, not part of the problem. Dalawa lang po ang, ang, ang option. It's either you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution choose to be part of the problem because you are a leader in itself. So in short, if all of us will be part of the solution, well, definitely, we will have a much more easier uh, environment to live. Okay? Tuloy po tayo. Now, Itong remaining slides ko, I'll be talking about planning. No? Because this is very important for a leader. Yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, yun po yung mga summary sa mga weeks na mga topics ko. So ito po, brand new po itong segment. No? Planning. A lot of people fail to plan. A lot. Not because they don't have anything to plan, but because tamad sila magplano. Ang gusto lang nila as it happens. Kaya nga ayaw ko yung kanta na Que sera, sera, wherever will be, will be. I don't like that song. Very complacent. Walang, parang, parang irresponsable. Huh? Ngayon, pinaganda, pinaganda pa yan eh. Nung, nung lumabas yung Lion King, pinaganda yan. Kinanta ni Timon and Pumba yan eh. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Life will never be no worries. There will always be. No? So, in short, as a leader, and if you intend to have your organization big, you need to plan. DPPI never became DPPI today if we did not plan. We will never be present in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao if we did not plan. We will never be able to come up with our first development if we did not plan. We built this company as we plan every single year. Alam ng mga tao dito dun sa mga nakakasama ko, ito si Emmy, alam ni, alam ni Emmy nito, alam to ni Emmy, na before the year uh, comes, I always prepare, let's say for example, 2020, I always prepare what would be 2021 would look like. But this time, medyo iba lang yung mga preparation natin kasi may mga COVID. Eh. Hindi ko na lang nilagyan ng tudo-tudo. No? But I want you to understand that we've got to plan. So, if you are now on your first journey being a property liaison specialist and your destination is becoming a consultant, then you've got to plan. Miss Novelin Alcobert who is the recently promoted consultant, never became a consultant without a plan. She has. 
According to that plan, she made those actions. She made the entire 2020 a group sale of 181 million. Yun po yung kabuuhang sale ni Ms. Noveline Alcover for one year. Hindi po nangyari ang 181 million with no plans at all. Ano yan? Sa Bisaya? Tira pa sa agad? Hindi. Chamba? Hindi. Trinabaho. Trinabaho. Plinano, Trinabaho. Every single day, week after week, may mga schedules na mga sinusunod. Kasi importante po yun on the journey towards success. Nobody gets into the destination that he desires unless he learns to plan. No? Novelin climbed the ladder from being a sales agent all the way becoming supervisor, manager, all the way to consultant. Every single step. She achieved it, complied with all the sales requirement needed. Why? Because she planned. If you're not going to plan, you're not going to hit anywhere. So you've got, you've got to do this one. Okay? Let's check. Now, the question is, how do you plan to keep your agents informed? We'll run down tayo ng mga thoughts. Ha? How do you plan to keep your agents informed about the mission, goals, and objectives of the organization? How do you intend to do that? Ano ba yung mga paraan na gusto mong gawin para ito ay ma-relay mo dun sa bawat isa sa organization? Now, meron po tayong tinatawag na corporate goal. No? Yung, yung sa seminar, nakikita nyo naman yun, yung vision, yung mission. Meron po tayong corporate goals. Now, itong corporate goals na to ay natatranslate ito sa mga goals ng mga consultants natin. But the question is this, how are you going to communicate that goals down the line? How are you going to make that, selves, uh, to make that information available for them? How will you talk to them? Okay, number one. The best way to communicate your goals uh, is to convert it into numbers. Okay. Number one, huh? The best way to communicate goals is to convert it into numbers. Numbers can be measured. Anything that cannot be measured doesn't get done. Ulitin ko, huh? Anything that is not measured doesn't get done. So if you wanted to communicate the goal down the line, it has to be translated via numbers. There's no other way, via numbers. When you want to communicate mission down the line, it has to be based on the felt need of the person. Kaya nga, kung nakikita nyo, every time na magbubukas yung seminar natin, magtatanong talaga ako, kung sino sa inyo dito ang may, may matinding pangangailangan. Because only in identifying the felt need of every individual person that we be able, I be able to communicate the goals, the vision, and the mission of the company. Ganon din po yan sa inyo. Hindi mo maipasa ang mission na eto tutulong tayo sa mga tao. Ganyan, ganyan. Hindi mo maipasa yan hanggat siya mismo ay hindi niya nakikita at hindi niya nas, na feel sa sarili niya kung ano ba yung mga pangangailangan niya. So yung felt need ng bawat isa sa atin, yun ang uunahin natin. Para ma-communicate natin ng maayos. Okay? Ano nga yun? When we talk about goals, it has to be translated with numbers. When we talk about mission, it has to be translated with your felt needs. When you are going to talk about objects, objective, this is actually, you're going to talk about it, the how to, kung paano. Hindi po siya pwedeng, sige, mangarap ka lang. Hindi po pwede. You've got to define it. What are the steps that he needs to take? Di ba? If you are listening to our business presentation, maliwanag. May tanong ako doon, what would you do? Ano ba ang gagawin mo dito para yung objective natin ay ma-achieve natin? Ano yung una kong sinabi? You've got to build your best team. Sinabi ko yon, build your best team. Paano ko gagawin yung pag-build ang team? Mag-recruit. 
Then may kasunod pa yan ng mga topic paano mag-recruit and so on and so forth. Your objectives are translated into your downline step by step by step. Kung baga, yun po yung how to. Ayan. Nakukuha ba? Kasi hindi po, minsan naririnig ko, sige, mangarap ka lang. Dapat ipaglaban mo yung pangarap mo. Oo nga, ipaglaban ko yan. Paano ko ba ipaglalaban yan? Dapat alam natin paano natin ma-guide si Downline para mas klaro sa kanya yung goal niya, klaro sa kanya yung mission niya, at klaro sa kanya ano yung objective na gagawin ko dito sa organization natin. Di ba? Hindi po siya pwedeng, sige, basta mangarap ka lang. Hindi po. Hindi po siya ganun. No? Exciting po ba? Are you, are you learning? Kasi ako, I'm learning at the same time. Eh. As I share this to you, I'm learning. No? I'm learning. Kasi minsan, kasi naano na tayo, gas-gas eh, uh, gas na masyado yung word na dream, dream, dream. At totoo yan. Yeah, hindi ko inaalis yan. But how are we going to guide our downline so that they will be able to really capture their dreams? Di ba? Gusto natin silang tulungan. We're here to help them. We're here to make their dreams come true. But the question is always how. How will you do that? How will you communicate that? Uh, that, that that's the bottom line. No? Our business is still a long way to go. But I am excited for the year 2021. You know why? Because nagmature na po tayo. Nagmature na po tayo sa pamamalakad at sa pamamaraan kung paano natin gagawin ang negosyo natin. Easy ba? Hindi rin. Hindi ko sinabi. Niminsan ho, hindi ko sinabing easy ang ginagawa natin. I never said that. But it's doable. I never said it's simple. But the difficulty is manageable. Ha? Yun lang naman eh. We've got to present to our downlines what they need to be expecting. Kailangan kasi, it's, a man, it's, it's part of the ma management of expectation. A lot of people quit. Okay? Sandali, tingnan ko yung oras because I don't wanna um, overtime. Um, kasi I'm, I'm starting to be conscious with time na yun. So, 8.54 na. Okay. I'm about to end with this one lang muna. But next is dadagdagan po natin. Drop ko muna. I'm excited this 2021 because we're starting to, as I said, we're starting to mature. We tend to view things differently at hindi na po tayo like before na madaling maratel if there are, you know, there are challenges na nakikita natin. In all of my seminar, I never said that it's easy. There is a certain degree of difficulty, but again, sabi ko pa nga, manageable. I never said it's easy. No? Simple. I never said that. But everything can be addressed. Your leadership role to every downline you have is very important. Kahit meron kang isang downline, ulitin ko ha, kahit meron kang isang downline at itong isang downline na to ay maturuan mo kung paano gawin ang negosyo na to, yung isang downline na yan can help you transform your life. It only takes one person to make a difference in your entire organization. Just one person. Just one person. Find that one person that you can mentor. Find that one person that you can help. Find that one person that you can guide. Find that one person whom that you can pour everything you learn to that one person. Make that one person succeed. Make that one person grow. The next thing you know, that one person have pushes you up to the next level. Sabi ni Zig Ziglar, just help 
enough other people get what they want and you get what they want and you get what you want sa tagalog para daw makuha mo ang gusto mo tulungan mo ang mga tao mo sa baba na makuha nila ang gusto nila pag nakuha nila yung gusto nila malamang yung sa iyo nakuha mo na rin Each one helps one. We may be we may belong to a team. May mga teams po tayo. No, may mga ano ba mga teams natin? May team Champ, Top Notcher, Latina, Dreamer, Synergy, Team Palaban, Team Newbie. Maraming team po. The team is the the purpose po ng team is we will be clustered. But I want you to know that we are still one DPPI. One goal. Kaya nga ang hashtag natin eh. One DPPI, one goal. We move according, uh, we move in one direction. Sorry, we move in one direction. We cadence. Pag sinabi natin we cadence, ibig sabihin, pag kaliwa, kaliwa, pag kanan, kanan. Pag nag-march siya, sabay-sabay. Kaliwa, kanan, kaliwa, kanan, kaliwa, kanan. Hindi pwedeng may kaliwa, hindi pwedeng may kanan. Maliwanag yung direction, maliwanag yung ginagawa natin, and we know exactly where we want to be at the end of 2021. I want each and every one of you to bring the best person you have down the line and mentor that one person. Start with one person. Find that in, in one of your downlines. At buhusan mo yan ng time. Pag yan ay nag-improve na, go find the next one. Then the next one, then the next one, because in the business in the business of leverage, slow is fast. In the business of network marketing, in the business of direct selling, in the business of leverage, I say this: slow is fast. Malabo no? Slow is fast. It may seem so slow, but in reality, when it is executed. It's really fast. Slow is fast. I've been using that word for the longest time. No, naririnig nila ni Emi yan, nila ni Mel dati. Slow is fast. And true enough, I was using that basic principle. The next thing I know, malaki na si DPPI. Pero ang ginamit natin na principle yan, still, slow is fast. Exciting tong journey natin. Hindi nyo ba nakikita? Ang programa ni DPPI ay balanse. Lahat ng mga training seminar natin balanse. We're talking about we're talking about business. We're talking how to start. No, meron tayong jump start learning session. Meron tayong learning session. Meron tayong ganito. Meron din po tayong savings and investment forum. Meron din po tayong that will nourish our soul. Meron din po tayong that will prepare our character. Meron din po tayong skills training. Nakikita niyo all throughout the week, balancing balance ang training ni DPPI. Alam mo bakit? Because in order for one DPPI member to succeed, it has to have a balance of both body, soul, and spirit. It has to be a balance. Kasi kung hindi po yan balance, hindi po tayo magsasaksid na. Okay? So, it's 9 o'clock as I have promised that I would always end it on time. I started at 8 and I want to end it at 9 para conserve po natin yung 1 hour. At isa, sa, isa din, I don't want to drag much of your time kasi ang iba sa atin ay nakadata lang because I've, I've received some suggestion na uh, minsan kasi medyo nahaba-haba natin at medyo naubos ang data at iba is magpo-post pa. I want you to know that I have perfectly heard that suggestion. That is the reason why I am putting up consciousness in my time when I go on the air. Okay? Now, by the way, um, I will be launching a mastermind session, an exclusive mastermind session. I will be needing, no, and I announce ko na lang to, I will be needing only 15 enrollee for that session. It's going to be a three-hour session. Okay? In the mastermind session, it's going to be a three-hour session. It's gonna be done here on, on Zoom. So if you're gonna enroll with that program, you're gonna load yourself. Nakaya po ang Zoom for the next uh, um, three hours. 
I will I will send I will release the enrollment form. It's gonna be an online form, and uh, it's gonna be exclusive for fifteen people only. No, then after that another set of uh, uh, fifteen mastermind uh, session. So we haven't done mastermind session last twenty twenty. We did last twenty nineteen. Sa 2020, ho, uh, medyo, I, I, wala talaga no, for the entire year. So I think for this 2021, uh, I have some scheduled mastermind na po. And yun, uh, manageable level ko lang po ay, ay 15. Sana 10 yun eh. May nagsuggest na dagdagan mo ng konti, Jof, kahit 15 para pag nag-breakout session, 5-5 five, five lang daw. Okay, oh, which is okay naman. No? I, I, ano dyan, I, I honor that. So, sabi ni Miss M, pwede bang sumali? Yes, Miss M, pwedeng sumali, pwedeng mag-enroll sa mastermind, sa mastermind session. So, maganda yung mga mastermind session natin ngayon kasi medyo deeper na. Sabi ko pa nga, eh, nag-mature na. Nag-mature na tayo, nag-mature ako, nag-mature lahat. And there are so many things in the mastermind session that you don't get in a normal training, in a normal seminar. So, kakaibang experience ang sa mastermind session. Okay? So, by Monday, the enrollment form will be out. So, to those na mag-attend, then you can you can enroll. It's totally for free. No no payment involved. Just your commitment for three hours that I would be asking. No? Your commitment for three hours, yun lang po ang hihingin ko. Undivided attention. Kailangan po siyang nakafocus. Kailangan po tayong nakatutok at Isa sa regulation natin sa mastermind session ay camera on tayo. Walang camera off. Lahat po is camera on because we wanted a dedicated um, attention for the mastermind session. So Monday, lalabas po ang, ang, ano, ang, first, ang, ang enrollment form. Tanong ni teacher, kailan? Um, I still have the dates, but I need to check on the enrollment. But don't you worry. It will fall on Saturday. Ah, no, it will fall on Sunday afternoon. The mastermind session will fall on Sunday afternoon. It's because, no? It's because I want people to be free on the time na wala po talagang uh, iniisip. So, um, I'll check on the date kung kailan mag-umpisa teacher, no, teacher Carol, but it will fall on Sunday uh, afternoon, no? Ang session na to. Yan, si Maribit Maranga. Appeal ko sa Yes, Beth, no? Si Ricky, no? Anong araw yan ang mastermind session, sir? Uh, yun, Rick, no? Um, si Ricky pala is uh, our business partner from South Korea. Um, it will fall on Sunday, Rick. Sunday afternoon. Philippine time, of course. But I think Korea is the same. Philipp uh, same time with us. So, hapon po yan ng Sunday para nakapag church na po tayo sa morning so hapon siesta time na lang yan ang igo google natin for the next 3 hours doon sa mastermind session but once you attended the mastermind session you will never be the same again as to as to who you are when you came in and when you go out of the master mastermind session so it would be an exciting uh, uh, event for us so don't worry, pag hindi po kayo nakapasok sa first 15, meron naman po tayong following batches. No? So, sabay-sabay po ang, ang 15 na yan. So, uh, it would be a learning experience. No? It would be a learning experience. Okay? So, maraming salamat po. Today po is weekend. Uh, bukas, yung recruitment seminar natin, ako na pong maghanap kung saan ako, magha saan ako pupunta bukas para makapag-wifi, para makapag- uh, ano tayo para makapag-recruitment seminar. Basta itutuloy natin, hahanapan natin ang paraan yan para uh, wala tayong makansila. Okay? So maraming salamat. God bless you po. At ingat po kayo, hindi pa rin po tayo safe sa COVID. Social distancing, face mask ay kakailanganin pa rin. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye-bye!